What's up everybody? It is Tackle Tip Tuesday and today we're talking about how to throw a bait caster. It's something that in my opinion, if you're gonna be a competitive bass fisherman or if you just wanna get ser get more serious about what you're doing out on the water, you really, really, really um, need to learn how to throw a bait caster. You're really limiting yourself on baits and presentations um, if you haven't picked one up yet. Real easy to do, you have essentially a main brake, which is all your bait casters are gonna um, are gonna have. And then you have a, another adjustment over here. Not all of them have that. Your higher end ones will almost all of them do now. This is more of a, a micro adjustment where this is gonna be your main adjustment over here. Is what you're wanting to do with it is you want to start out. I like to start where my uh, micro adjustment. It's that's not what it's really called, but it's just easier when you're starting out to think of it that way. Um, start it out about halfway and then tighten your brake up over here until when you release the spool you want that bait to fall down to the ground and once it hits the ground you want the spool to stop so just tighten it all the way up and then loosen it until you find that point to where once it hits the ground it's not going to continue rolling and that's what causes the bird's nest or the backlashes. Another tip that I like for people starting out, this is going to save you a whole, whole lot of headaches. You know, if you're going to be practicing out in your yard, um, that's you know that's where a lot of people start out. They'll be out in the yard practicing or on the water, whatever. Just take out, you know, obviously you're not going to be able to make a long cast, but tie onto the fence or, or just something to where you can string out a bunch of line. And this right here is going to save you a ton of headaches. Get some electrical tape. That's what you do. This is after you've you know strung out 50 or 60 yards. You want to string out more than what you will be able to cast, um, but not not a lot more than that. And so what we're going to do is you're going to take the electrical tape here. I use this a lot when I'm guiding. You'll take the electrical tape, place it over the line, and go ahead and pull off about I don't know whatever that is four or five inches. So what you'll do is cut your tape. And then you're just going to, hoping y'all can see this, you're just going to take and roll the tape on there like this. The idea is, mash it down real good. The idea here is that you want to get it. So, okay, you can see my lines just reeling over that electrical tape. The idea is to where if it backlashes like that right there, you're going to pull it and it's only going to backlash to that point, to the tape. That way you're not going to ruin a whole spool of line trying to learn how to fish these things. Make sure, I kind of messed up here, this is a good point. Um, I didn't cut off quite enough tape. But you can see where it started peeling off. You want it to overlap to where your tape on tape. That's going to help it stick a whole lot better. Hopefully this helps y'all. My dog just about ate my jig. <laughs> I hope this helps y'all a little bit. I know it can be frustrating learning how to throw a bait caster, but stick with it. Um, it. It will come for sure. It does get in. There are some more things to learn about. Once you get to loosening the brakes and, and everything, you'll learn to use your thumb to slow the spool. Uh, I may do another video on that later if y'all want, but this is a good way to get started. Get you some electrical tape, get out on water, and just keep plugging away. You'll learn it, I promise, and once you learn it, you'll love it. Appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to comment and subscribe, and check back next week for another tackle tip. Thanks, guys.